So it's August 1st, and that makes the pond about two months old. It was dug on uh, late in May. So we've got a couple months for it to settle in. I've been stalking bait and I uh, learned some things halfway through that I probably should have learned earlier on. No way. You can't eat that one. <laughs> you are a pig. Oh my God. The biggest mistake was throwing in bass before I had enough bait in the pond. I definitely underestimated how much they eat. Even tiny bass eat a lot of uh, minnows. That bass is only three inches long. Oh, he got another one. So I'm hoping to put together a decent video just, just showing the, the bait that's been put into the pond over the last two months. And uh, I'll try and get some underwater footage with my high-tech uh, underwater camera system. So in this video, I'm really just going to show you a whole bunch of uh, bait stocking that I did over the last two months. Um, on the fence, whether it's, I don't know what's legal and what's not legal. Um, this is a pond that was made. There's no in-flowing water. There's no out-flowing water. I'm trying to keep all the bait coming from the local waterway. You always want to worry. You, you worry about zebra mussels and invasive species in that. But uh, really, really, we're just going from here. To the river over there. I don't know what's legal and what's not but I need to put bait in here so that's what I've done. Uh, you'll see quite a bit of video on that. Crayfish, frogs, uh, shiner minnows, sunfish, some rock bass. I've even went and bought bait at a bait store because catching minnows is slow. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a lot of time and uh, I'm not putting up big results with the minnow traps. Netting them is slow as well. That's where most of them probably came from was the net. Uh, as you'll see, we just keep dumping stuff in here and... Emptied out the minnow trap and have some uh, crayfish and a log perch. Never heard of a log perch before, I had to look it up. And this is the log perch. Cool looking fish. I've never been very good at trapping minnows, but maybe it's just me. Maybe it's where I put the trap. I don't know. I never get a ton of uh, good minnows in a trap. A lot of crayfish and stuff like that, but um, usually I don't have any bait in the trap and that's probably half the problem, right? I gotta get this guy into the water quick. Oh, the crayfish is making a run for it. It's a big one. That's a good sized one. Ow! Got me. Throw him in the pond. I haven't checked this trap in a long time. Too long. It's been a few weeks. This is the galvanized trap that always catches more everything. And there is a family of crayfish in there. That's a big one. I'm gonna release the crayfish into the pond. They can actually they always sense where water is. They can walk on they can walk on land. Uh oh. Oh. I uh, did not expect that to happen. Looks like we're down one crayfish. I did not know that frogs ate crayfish, but apparently they do. So we've uh, lost one crayfish. Did not expect that to happen. I don't know how they eat them with the claws, but I guess 
they know how to go uh, tail first. Let's try this again. No way. No way. That same frog just ate another one. Come on. Uh, let the let him go. I need my crayfish. Oh my god, how can he eat two? This was like two minutes ago. Uh. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is crazy. What are you gonna do with that? What are you going to do with that? Let it go. You already ate lunch. Oh wow. Wow. Well, there's no way he can eat this one. Go, run. Run while you can. No way. You can't eat that one. <laughs> you are a pig. Oh my god. Now he's going to attack him. Go, run. There he goes. He's lived. That is crazy. You are a pig. Oh, man. I lost half my crayfish to one frog. Um, surprised me when it ate the one. Really surprised me when it swam across this corner of the pond to eat the second one. I guess I should have tossed them in. Um, figured it would be, it would be uh, figured it would be better on video to let them crawl in, but also didn't think that this frog um, could get at them. So one last one. I'm gonna. I'm going to throw this little guy in because this frog is going to eat. There he goes. So I got two crayfish in the pond. Two of my crayfish are in this frog. That is crazy. You are a pig. So I guess we're going to put in the first bass in the pond. I actually caught it in the minnow trap. It is super tiny. Um, I was planning on putting in large bass but uh, this one just showed up in the minnow trap so I guess we'll put it in it's too nice uh, too nice not to the first bass to go into the pond is a two and a half inch largemouth oh that water's warmer hope that doesn't affect him the first bass in the pond there he is see you little buddy <laughs> Today we're going to try and net some minnows, mostly shiners. It's a natural uh, minnow in the river that's close by. The pond is right here and the river is right there. So it's uh, local, natural, only moving at about 50 feet, anything we catch. Trying to get some more bait into this pond. Just using a standard dip net, fine one so the minnows can't get through it. Used to do this a lot as kids with my brother, we would wear out we would wear the mash off the nets, um, always would be catching minnows and the trick is to stir up some of that dust and the minnows will then come in to sort of in investigate and eat whatever's floating in the water and that's one real easy way to bring them in. Um, of course the bigger ones will always, uh, there's some right there, don't know if you can see them on bottom but kind of chase them. The bigger ones are always the hardest to get because they're the smartest and they stay the furthest away. But there's a whole bunch there going for a swim. Um, but they just love, they love eating off the bottom. Uh, so if you can stir up, stir up the, uh, the ground a little bit, they'll come in and they're right in my feet, uh, eating whatever they can find. I'm not sure what that's from. Yeah, maybe a deer jaw? I don't know. 
kind of weird, kind of gross. Here's a here's a leech with a lot of babies underneath it. It's amazing how many small leeches there are underneath. I don't think I'm going to throw that in the pond even though it's great bait. You can really see how many babies are underneath that female leech. Look at that. Get off me. Crazy. A hundred of them there. Let her go. So that's what we're after. Natural shiner minnow. They have a, such a shine to them. Um, fish love them. Top bait for almost every fish around this area. We've got quite a few in there. Some small ones really came in on top of the water and they're super easy to catch. It's really the big ones I'm after but I want to get these into the pond because they're running out of oxygen probably and the water's getting warm so. The largemouth bass is now big enough to eat minnows and it's put a dent into my minnow population. Just one fish, a small fish, has, has definitely probably eaten half of my minnows so far. Something I learned is that uh, it takes 10 pounds of bait to grow a fish one pound. So it takes 10 pounds of minnows to grow a bass one pound. That bass is right here and it can see the minnows in the net. And that's, that's how hungry these things are. Um, I'm gonna throw him one, I guess. I don't really wanna sacrifice my perfect sized shiner minnows, but I'll see if I can get it on camera if he can catch one. Yeah, he ate that. So, yeah, he's gotten to the point where he can easily eat two inch shiners so that's a bit of a problem I'm gonna try to let these go and hopefully he doesn't hopefully that fish doesn't come in and eat anymore oh no wow chase them up on shore <laughs> look at this look at this wow I gotta get this one in the water <clears throat> Get in the water. There. That's crazy. Go, Minnow, go. Go. You're under that leaf. Oh my goodness. This isn't good. My minnows, I worked so hard for. Go, 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 go. That bass is only three inches long. Oh, he got another one. Oh, my minnows. My poor minnows. <clears throat> Look at these bass. That is a three inch bass going after a two inch minnow. Poor guy. Oh, that little bass ate it. Look at that little bass. Oh. So bass are definitely, look at that. That bass ate that minnow. Oh. Well, I worked hard for those five minnows, as sad as that sounds. They're hard to net. Good sized shiners are hard to net. And the, bass ate three of my four so that's sort of what you're what you're stuck with as I've learned the more I read I didn't read anything before I threw bass in here uh, but yeah it's a bit of a problem I don't really want to remove the bass but they eat a lot pull up the minnow trap perch too big don't want it I will take the sunfish. There he goes. Good job.
So I have an embarrassing confession to make. This entire video, I call the one bass that I have in the pond a largemouth bass, and it is in fact a smallmouth bass. It is super embarrassing. I, I gotta look back on the video from when I took the small bass out of the minnow trap and dumped it into the pond. I was sure it was a largemouth. Uh, had a, you know, the head was, was oversized. Um, the color, I was sure it was a largemouth bass. And sure enough, as it's grown now, to five inches long it's a smallmouth 100 percent uh it's got the trademark torpedo shaped body the black tail still there and the white uh fin under the under the uh, gill is is a dead giveaway that it's a smallmouth so you'll see this entire video i call it a largemouth it's a smallmouth super embarrassing so last minute i did actually get a largemouth bass in the minnow trap so we Actually, this is 100% a largemouth bass. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I got a terrible container to see through, but that is a largemouth. So we have ourselves one two inch largemouth bass going in the pond early August, very late. So I've thrown in the towel on minnow catching and have decided to cheat and go to the bait shop and buy a bag of minnows. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple dozen, throw them in the pond, and see what happens. They trap their own minnows every day, hundreds a day. Uh, they're actually trapping these. They're trapping these minnows in 20 to 30 feet of water, which is crazy. Uh, but this time of year, they love the they love the colder water. They're not up near the surface in the warmer water. These minnows can definitely see in the bag. Sunfish are lined up. The bass is lined up. Everybody can see each other. So I'm going to end the video now. We put a lot of uh, bait in uh, in the pond over this last two month period here of the summer. There go the crayfish. Oh no, get out of here. Get away, get out of here. Go, go. Go away. So I'm going to wrap this video up now, um, just a recap on what was uh, thrown into the pond over the last two months. Probably maybe two dozen crayfish, uh, shiner minnows, I probably put in between 100 and 125. I have maybe 25 left. Um, the one bass has done a number on my shiner minnows, which has been the storyline of this video. Um, sunfish, I put a lot of sunfish in probably between 30 and 40. I don't think I lost any. They have really taken uh, a comfort to the pond and, and look look quite well. They're growing, um, and definitely growing. Uh, a few rock bass got tossed in early. A perch or two I threw in. I didn't really want perch, uh, but I did see one the other day. So there's definitely a perch or two in here. Um, biggest problem I made is I took a, there was a uh, batch of smallmouth bass fry and I netted them from the river and put them in the pond and there's just really no predators here or very few predators compared to the wild and of that you know 50 to 60 fry that I scooped up I'm gonna guess 20 of them are, are around now and they're small maybe inch and a half to two inch smallmouth so that's my new problem I don't know how to get those, them out of there but uh, I'm not gonna be able to hold that many uh, bass in here with the a small amount of food that I have. 
I don't want them growing into a six inch one like I have here. So um, I'm gonna have to try to get them out of here somehow. I, I don't know, even know how to. An update on the bait store minnows. Uh, I found six or eight dead ones a day or two after I put them in and I think they were all chub minnows. And I had a mixed bag there of uh, shiners and, and chub. And I guess the chub just didn't acclimate to the pond uh, well enough. So I think the shiners are alive. I caught a glimpse of a small school of them the other day. So that was kind of uh, a positive. I think they're just down deep in the cold water, but they did come up enough for me to see maybe six or so. So I'm hoping some of those are there and the plan was to get enough shiners in here between netted, trapped and purchased uh, minnows that they spawn next spring. That's sort of the goal is to have the minnow spawn and then have enough minnows to house a few more large size bass. So not sure if I'm going to get there. This one six inch bass is killing me on uh, on my minnow population. He's cut it in, uh, he's cut it by 75%. So learning to deal with that and uh, moving forward, we'll try and, uh, I think the excavator's coming back to, uh, I'm going to make some shelves here so it's easier to access the pond. It's a little bit of a steep hill right now. So I try to get him back to shelf this, uh, make it a little bit bigger over here. I want to, I want to take this corner out somewhat uh, to make a bigger end on, on here for the winter and uh, clean up some of the trees around here, limb them, thin them, clean them up a little bit so that it's a little bit more appealing. Might get time to do that this summer into the fall. We'll see. I'll do a video if I do have time. This pond was uh, just dug two, two and a half months ago, so about, about 10 weeks ago. It was just a field before. There was no pond here, no water. Um, so it's all new. The bait's new. Uh, it seems to be coming. There's some some reeds growing, some underwater weeds I see. So it's kind of uh, interesting to see how a pond takes hold from basically nothing, uh, from a man-made pond. So if you want to check that video out, we, uh, we dug that about 10 weeks ago and I'll try to link that above. So thanks for watching and that's all for this one.